At the beginning of this weekend, CIG did drop one more additional patch that was intended to last throughout the weekend and they did move it up to wave three. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the patch notes for this patch and then I'm gonna give you guys my assessment on how it's been performing thus far. Let's get straight into it. So this one for features and gameplay, under the gameplay category, they did an update to the star map. It says updates to transitions between star map and interior map. It says lurping the camera out to a default distance away from the current location. Base transition from star map to interior map on whether the crosshair is over the player or current location marker. Starting by default in the star map when it is in the vehicle seat. Add in keybind to automatically transition to the interior map from the star map but not interior map to star map. It says they set the chat window to show as default. And for the chat window, they allow and cycle through chat channel tab only when the chat is focused and they've adjusted the top left visor region to show the law zone widget when in a vehicle copium fauna can no longer be stunned and lorville minimap polish pass has also been done for ships and vehicles they lowered the shield regen time when swapping operator modes it says shields regen too slow when returning back to scm speed at full shield health the recovery time of a shield from nav to scm is now uh, for size one it's going to be three seconds for size two four seconds size three five seconds and size four six seconds and they retune the cutlass steel to be in line with the other drop ships for cortec they did a cloud performance optimization it says atmosphere and cloud ray marching has been expensive to reduce gpu overhead we're scaling down the ray march step count for parts of the screen that are occluded by near field scene objects this should mostly affect the very high end photo mode setting they made further vulcan performance optimization made further entity streaming performance optimization they made further overall network performance optimization made and they also made planetary nav mesh polish and performance optimization and they made further dynamic across their client performance optimization there's a few bug fixes with this one as well they fixed an issue where ground vehicles have erratic movement when driving they fixed an issue where the slider value between zero to one uh, for global camera shake only provides the one max shake they also fixed an issue when the starfare has an internal fuel tank full the fuel pods cannot be refilled they also fix an issue where players cannot spawn vehicles using the ASOP terminal and instead have a long loading screen. They fix an issue where ammo repooling does not combine magazines. They fix an issue where ship pedestal interaction hide the AR card. They also fix an issue where secondary action, which is the mouse to button, is ignored and throw is forced instead. So now this is for the PIE. They fixed an issue where there's a delay in the update fire rate after swapping gimbal modes, specifically for precision targeting. They also fixed an issue where elevators move in the minimap. They also fixed an issue where the copian creature do not move or attack player. They also fixed another issue where AI can seemingly get stuck and stay inside of the spawn closet. This is for the distribution centers along with this is six client crashes and four server crashes so now i did get a chance to uh test out uh 323 this weekend and it's been relatively smooth um the experience is a lot more improved compared to when 323 was initially released but i did notice um and a few of my um org mates also did notice a few 30k uh recovery and um, I think some servers just struggle whenever a 30 Ks, um, it recovers and then within like five minutes, it does it again. So if you are um, stuck in that shard and you keep coming back to the st that shard, it keeps doing the same thing. So, um, but if you do have a good shard where the servers are, are, are solid, then it's, it's a decent uh, gameplay experience. Um, hopefully this will continue to progress uh, in such a way that we could get a live release by the end of this week let's cross our fingers let's hope we can get this out as soon as possible next week is going to be may so um, i think they have a target to actually drop this before invictus which is going to be mid may so we are heading towards a live release very soon
You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video.